our backs. Spine is nice and long and straight. Head is neutral. Your feet can be, legs can be bent with your feet on the mat or then be long out in front of you. And then we'll exhale everything out. And take a deep breath in, filling up your belly, your ribs and your chest and hold. And then exhale completely. And hold. Inhaling and filling up your belly, your ribs and your chest and hold. And then exhale completely. And hold. Inhaling and filling up your belly, your ribs and your chest and hold. And exhale completely. And hold. One more. Inhaling and filling up your belly. Your ribs and your chest and hold. See if you can sip in a little more air. And then exhale completely. Now just some even inhales, expanding your ribs. And exhales, drawing them in. Again, inhaling in, expanding the ribs. And exhaling, drawing the ribs together. Your eyes are closed, you can go ahead and flutter them open. And then draw your knee in towards your chest. You can extend your left leg long if you'd like to. Think about drawing your knee towards the center of your chest to begin with. So stretching more the outside of your hip a little bit. Breathing here. And then you can move the knee over more towards your right armpit. A little deeper of a stretch, also stretching across the groin. As always, do what feels good for you, skip what doesn't, adjust, modify, make the class fit your needs today. And draw the knee back in, grab the right knee with your left hand, and drop your knee across your body. Unwinding your spine, supine twist. You've got some fun, kind of little balance challenge things planned for us today, so you may wobble through them, and that's perfect. Maybe it brings a smile to your face. Two more breaths here. And then unwinding back through center, give that knee a squeeze. And then lifting your shoulders up off the mat, float your left leg up off the mat, and we'll switch, and switch, and switch. A little core work. And the last one. So you're drawing with your left knee in towards your chest. You can lay your right leg down on the mat, lift your shoulders down. Think about drawing the knee in towards the center of your chest to begin with. Breathing here. And then moving the left knee towards the left armpit. And bring your right knee to your right hip to help you stretch the groin as well. Breathing here. And then coming back up through center. You'll grab your left knee with your right hand. Just drop your knee across your body for the supine twist. Left arm can come out to the side. Maybe turn your gaze. Breathing here. Last breath. And then unwinding back through center. Give that left knee a good squeeze. And then lift your shoulder blades of your right leg off the mat. We'll switch. And switch, 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 and last one, switch. And then draw both knees in, and you can rock and roll a couple times. You'll see these rocks later in class today. Last one, and then make your way up onto your hands and knees. So all the way through to a tabletop, spine is nice and long and straight, and then we'll take some cat cows. So inhale, drop your chest, look it up. Exhale, rounding your spine, chin in towards your belly button, right gaze, lift your belly button. Inhale, and exhale. Let's take three more. We've got a ladder cloak man for us today. So we'll be repeating some of the parts of our flow. We'll do it slowly the first time, and then we'll move through as we add on. So back to the tabletop, you can tuck your toes. And then send your hips up and back for a down dog. Take a breath here. Exhale, release. If you want to wiggle out here, wag your tail or roll 
through your ankles, whatever feels good for you here. And then the sound off. Two more breaths. All right, and a little bit of a hip stretch. You're gonna step your right foot forward. You're gonna land on the outside of your right foot. So this is kind of like an elevated pigeon. You're on the blade side of your right foot. Your hips stay nice and high, but you're stretching into this right hand. Breathe in here. Two breaths left. And then you're gonna step the right foot back. And then other side, left foot steps forward, we're on the outside of the left foot, so the blade side of this left foot, sinking hips down, but they're still lifted up like an elevated pigeon. Two breaths left. And then stepping the left foot back for a down dog. One breath here. And then inhale, look forward. And exhale, make your way to the front of the mat. You can take a rag doll, separate your feet hip width apart. Bend down, grab your opposite elbows, release your head and neck. And if you'd like to sway or to shake your head, you can do that. Take another breath. And then releasing your hands down towards the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, arms come all the way up. And exhale, hands in the heart center. Stepping your feet together. If you'd like to set an intention for your practice today, you can do so. All right, we'll get started. We'll do two sun A's and a sun B. So inhaling our arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, you can do your flow. <sighs> Inhaling up, outer cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back, down dog. Five breaths here. Lengthening through your spine. Turn your tailbone up. Evenly distributing your, set, your weight between your hands and your feet. Last breath here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way up to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, shift the arms up, stand up. And exhale, hands in the heart center. Moving on, inhale and arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, plant your hands, do your flow. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back, down dog. Breathing here. Fingers are nice and wide. And you're trying to grip them out with your fingertips. That allows you to lift your wrist just a little bit. Last breath here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way up to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up. And exhale, hands in the heart center. Take a breath. Exhale, release. Moving on for a sun B. Sink the hips down, bend the knees, chair pose. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, plant your hands to your flow. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, right foot steps all the way forward and up. Find your warrior one. And then exhale, hands come back down, step back, do your flow. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, left foot steps forward, come all the way up, quarter one. And exhale, hands all the way back down, step back, do your foot. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing here in your down dog. 
two breaths left. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, start to float, make your way up to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Sink the hips, lift the chest up, inhale up for your chair. And exhale, stand up, hands at heart center. Take a breath. Exhale, release. Now we'll add on. Inhaling, sink the hips, lift up, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, do your flow. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, down dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward, come all the way up to where you one. And we'll stay here. So checking the alignment, your feet can be like they're on railroad tracks, drawing this right hip back, and then arms can come up. Rotating the pinky then towards each other. And then engaging your core. Last breath here. And then we're opening up, finding our warrior two. So you can adjust your stance a little bit if you need to, widening it. Hips are nice and open, chest is open. Arms are parallel down to the ground. And then you can draw your gaze up to the front. Breathing here. Last breath. And then we're going to shift forward, finding a side angle. So right hand can come down to your right quad, left hand up and over. You can look up towards the ceiling, helping to lift your left ribs up and open up through the chest. Your left arm is going to be reaching up, but make sure that your shoulder is still integrated in. So drawing down your back a little bit. Last breath here. And then transitioning back to the warrior two. And then making your way to the back of the mat for skandhasana. So bending into this left leg towards the back of the mat. Your right knee and your right toes can be up facing the ceiling. You can stay here. Or if you'd like to add a little twist, you can bring your left hand down on the inside of the left leg. And your right hand up towards the ceiling. Breathing here. Last breath. If you have the twist, unwind the twist, bring your hands down to the mat, and then crawl your way back to the front of the mat. Once you're there, square off the hips, so we're coming onto the ball of the left foot, so the left heel is in the air. Engage through your core and sweep your arms up, finding the crescent lunge. Pinkies rotate in, so again, like we were with our warrior one, core is engaged, shoulders are growing down, and pinkies are in. But now your hips are a little more square, and we're on the ball of the side. Two more breaths here. All right, and you can send your hands down towards the mat. Step your right foot back and take your flow. Inhaling. And remember, you can always skip your flow. Exhaling and just meet us in down dog. Let's take two breaths here. And then you're going to step your left foot forward. Come all the way up. Find your warrior one. All right, so feet can be a little wider. They don't have to be on the tightrope. It can be more like a rear traps. Core is engaged. Shoulders are growing down. Rotating your pinky then. Breathing here. Two breaths left. And then opening up warrior two. Adjust your stance a little bit. Widen it. Bending deeply into this front left leg. Arms are parallel, and you can bring your gaze up to the front. And then you can see if you can sink down a little further into that left knee. And last breath. Now keep this nice, nice deep bend in your legs. Bring your left hand to your quad, and right arm up and over for side angle. Really stretching nice and long between your right fingertips and the outside of this right foot, still bending deeply into this left leg. Right ribs are rotating up to help your chest stay open. And last breath here. Transition back to warrior two. 
And then we're going to go all the way towards the back. Move that for skin dog So bend into this right leg. Left knee and foot is rotating up towards the ceiling. You can also do it a little higher. This is better for your hips. And then if you'd like to, you can add the twist. Right hand comes down to the mat. Left knee and twist up and open. Breathing here. Last breath. Both hands come down to the mat. And then walking your hands back up to the front of the mat. Squaring off the hips, coming onto the ball of the right foot. Right heel is lifted. And then lift everything up front and across that lunge. You can bend a little bit into this right leg if that feels better for you. Bend or straight, this not hyper extended back. Core is drawing in. Breathing here. Three breaths left. Last breath. And then pull the hands down towards the mat. Set the left foot back and take your flow or just meet us in down dog. Three breaths here. Last breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way up to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Sink the hips, lift the chest up, inhale to your pose. Exhale, stand up, hands and heart center. Take a breath. Exhale, release. One more breath here. And then adding on. Inhale, we'll find a chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, do your flow. Inhaling, up dog, cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back, down dog. Right foot steps forward, all the way up, find your warrior one. And then open up, warrior two. Hinging forward, find your side angle. And then making your way to the back of the mat for skandasana, all the way down. Left hand can come down, right arm up. Adding a twist, and then bring your hands down, walk to the front of the mat, square it off the hips, lift the left toe, and then reach the arms up, find your crescent lunge. We'll get steady here in crescent lunge first. So make sure you're drawing the core in, hips are nice and neutral, and we'll start to add on. So left arm's gonna come under the right for eagle arms. Really pressing those together. You can also go for a little hug if the full eagle arms is too much. And then pressing your weight to the right leg, you're gonna stand up, bring this left leg up and over your right, finding full eel pose. So squeezing the legs together, squeezing the arms together, shoulders are drawing down, but elbows are nice and high. Last breath here. And then straighten the right leg, lift the left knee up. And then see if you can send it back slowly behind you, returning to this crescent lunge. Once you're there, you still have your eagle arms. You're going to slowly lower this left knee down to a hover. So it doesn't quite touch the mat. It's hovered there. And yes, everything's working. Should feel pretty intense. Two more breaths. All right, then you can lower the left knee all the way down to the ground. Lengthen through your spine. And then with an exhale, find a little bit of a back bend. Staying here for your inhale. Maybe exhale up a little more. One more full breath. With your inhale, come back up to a neutral spine. Unwind your hands. Right hand can come down to your right quad. And left hand is going to sweep down and around and back, grabbing your left ankle. And then drawing it in towards your glute. Once you're there, make sure that your hips and shoulders are nice and square. Breathing here. Last breath. Slowly releasing this, no slingshots. Both hands come down to the mat, we'll lift the left knee, and step the right foot back, and take your flow. Inhaling, and exhaling. 
Taking a breath here between your sides. And then left side. Left foot goes a step forward. Come all the way up. Warrior one. Opening up. Warrior two. Breathing nice and slowly. Hinging forward, finding your side angle. And then coming all the way towards the back of your mat. Skins off so that into the right leg. Right hand can come down, left arm up, find the twist. And then unwind the twist and walk back to the front of your mat, squaring off the hips, coming onto the ball of the right foot. Get steady here and sweep the arms up, finding your crescent lunge. All right, engaging your core, getting ready to add on. Your right arm's gonna come up under your left eagle arms. Get steady here and then slowly shift your weight into your left leg as you lift your right leg up and over, finding full eagle pose. So squeezing the legs together, drawing the shoulders down, lifting the elbows up, breathing here. Two more breaths. And then slowly unwinding, straightening the left leg, lifting the right knee up, and then slowly with control, stepping it back, finding the crescent lunge again. You can adjust your stance once you get there, and then you're going to bend this right knee down all the way to it's hovering above the mat. So just a nice little hover here. Getting into this right quad. You still have your eagle arms. Breathing. Last breath. And then you can slowly lower the right knee all the way down to the ground. Your inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, open up the back bend. Staying here. Exhale, maybe bend a little deeper. Last full breath. And coming back up to a neutral spine. Unwind the hands. Left hand is going to come to your left quad. Right hand is going to sweep back. Reaching for that right ankle. Drawing it in towards the glute. Once you're there, square off the hips. Square off the shoulders. And take a few breaths. Two breaths left. Slowly releasing the leg, bring the hands back down to the mat. You can lift the right knee up off the mat and step your left foot back and take your flow. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way up to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward hold. Bending the knees, sinking the hips, sweep the arms up to your pose. And then stand up in the heart center. Two breaths. All right, and then we'll add on a little more. Sink the hips, lift the chest to your pose. And then forward hold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten the back. Exhale, plant the hands, do your flow. Elbow stand. Inhaling, up dog your cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back, down dog. Taking a breath. Exhale, release. And then right foot's gonna step all the way up. Coming up, finding your warrior one. Opening up, warrior two. Hinging forward, finding your side angle. And then moving all the way towards the back for your skandasana. Left hand comes down to the ground, right hand up, twisting. And then unwind your twist and make your way up to the front of the mat. Spraying out the hips, lifting the left heel. Get steady here, engage through your core, and sweep the arms up, press at lunge. Left arm sweeps under right, eagle arms. Shoulders are drawing down, elbows are lifting, shifting into this right leg, left leg lifts up, and over, full eagle pose. Staying here for a breath, and then straightening up, and send the left leg long behind you again, finding crescent lunge. Get stable, slowly lower the knee down to a hover, and then you can release it all the way down. Lengthen through your spine, and take a little back bend. Full breath here. And then come back up to neutral spine. 
Release your hands down, right hand to your quad, left hand sweeps back, grabs the ankle, draws it in. Hips are square, and slowly release. You're gonna bring your left hand down to the mat now, lift your left knee up, and you're gonna send your right hand forward like disco fingers. So I've got my left, I'm sorry, this is my right pointer finger up, pointing to the front, and then I'm gonna lift my hips a little bit as I draw my left foot through and bring it to the front. So kind of like a jack and I squat, I'm just going to adjust my stance a little bit. If you want to square up on the mat, you can. So now our right knee is bent, the left leg is on the ground, and we found the seat. We're going to take a twist. So left arm, going to grab your right knee, lengthen through your spine, and twist open to the back. This left foot's going to stay nice and engaged and flex. Two more breaths. And then unwinding back through center. And then the left hand is going to sweep behind you. Right arm is going to sweep across your body as you lift up, finding a wild thing. Sit on the outside of this left foot. Right foot is planted on the mat. Open up, reaching long behind you. Breathing here. Last breath. And then slowly lay the hips back down towards the mat. So we're back in the stance, left leg is long in front of us. Right knee is tucked in. From here, we're gonna rock onto our back, tuck both knees in, and then see if you walk, rock forward if you can press that weight into that right foot and lift up into the stack and slot. Couple more tries, rocking, and then shifting up, really pressing that right foot into the ground, and then rocking and pressing up. And let's do one more, rock and press up. And this time, you're gonna rock all the way back See if you can land on both feet and stand all the way up. So rock back, press both feet down, stand all the way up, and then lift your left knee up for hand and knee pose. So engage in the core, spine is nice and long and straight, right hand can be on your right hip. Gaze is out to the front, and then when you're ready, you can open this left knee out to the side. So stretching out through the groin. You can also have a couple of your foot if you prefer. Breathing here, two more breaths, and then back through the center. Release your leg, arms up, up ahead. We're here for five, four, maybe straight the leg, three, two, and one, slowly hinging forward, left leg comes all the way up and back. Hands come down the mat for standing splits. So pressing evenly into this right foot, you can walk your hands back towards this right foot. Maybe grab the ankle if you'd like to. Left hip is working to be in line with the right. So hips are neutral, so either not your cheerleader split where you're open, but they're closed off. Last breath here. Both hands come down to the mat, and then your choice, you can step back, you can do a flow, you can do a handstand hop, whatever you'd like to do. We'll meet you down dog. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's take two breaths in down dog. And then moving on to the other side. Left foot steps forward, come all the way up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Breathing nice and slowly. Hinging forward, side angle. And then towards the back of the mat, skandasana. Right hand comes down, left hand comes up for the twist. And then unwind both hands to the mat as you walk your way to the front of the mat. Squaring off the hips, lifting the right heel, moving the arms up, finding your crescent lunge. Right arm, twist under left, eagle arms get nice and steady. And then shift your weight to your left leg as you cross your right leg up and over. Bending down, taking a full breath here, getting nice and steady, and then straighten the left leg, lift the right knee up, set it back behind you, again, finding this crescent lunge. Lower the right knee down, find your hover, and then you can lower it the rest of the way all the way down to the mat. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, open up for the back bend. Staying here, and then coming back to a neutral spine. Unwind your hands, left hand comes down to your quad, 
Right arm sweeps back, reach for that ankle, draw it in. Hips and shoulders are nice and square, slowly release. Right hand comes down to the mat, you lift your right knee up off the mat, and then point your left finger ahead. So just go finger time again, and then see if you can step your right foot all the way up and through, bring it down to the mat in front of you. Once you're there, if you want to square up on your mat again, you can. So we've landed our right foot is to the front, the left leg is bent, we're going to add a twist. So grab the left knee with your right elbow, lengthen through your spine, and twist behind you. Breathe in here. Last breath. And then unwind back through the center. And then moving on to wild things. So right hand come behind you, left hand swings across your body as you lift your hips up and find your wild thing. You're on the outside of the right foot. Hips are nice and high. Left foot is pointing up and on that. Breathing, finding some weight. Last breath here, and then unwind back to your seat. So return to the seat with our right leg long in front of us, left leg bent in. We're going to take some of those rocks. So rocking on your back, squeezing both knees in, and then planting your left foot down on the mat as you lift up. And again, rock, and then back it up. Probably the key is pressing firmly into the ground. Rock, back it up, using your core like a hook to draw you up. And last one, back it up. All right, this time we're coming all the way up to stand, so rocking on your back, then planting both feet, lifting all the way up, and lifting your right leg in. You can grab that knee or the big toe, and foot pose. Core is engaged, kind of nice and long and straight. Breathing here. And then opening up to the side when you're ready. Opening up through the groin, you can extend your left arm out to the side if you'd like. Change your gaze. Last breath here. And then bring it back forward in front of you, engage your core. Release your knee or your foot. Maybe extend your leg and we'll hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Sweeping down, hinging forward, find that standing split. Once you're there, walking your hands in, think more about your standing leg. Lift that lift up. Lift your left knee, lift your knee up. Stretching the hamstring. Two more breaths. And then plant your hands, your choice. Step, hop, hand, stand back. Skip your flow, whatever you want. We'll meet in down dog. Two breaths here. And inhale, look forward. Exhale, make you move from the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Sink the hips, lift the chest, draw up to your post. And exhale, stand up, hand and heart center. All right, good job. Take a couple of breaths. One more breath. All right, so we've completed the flow. We're going to move on for a couple of other poses. We're going to find a chair pose. So sink the hips down, lift the chest up, chair pose. You should be able to see your toes. Hips are nice and even, then bring your hands and heart center lengthening through your spine. And twist, bring your left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Once you twist, think about bringing your chest up towards your palms. Really deep in the twist. Last full breath here. And staying nice and low. So you can just twist immediately over to the other side. So right elbow to the left knee, twisting up, bringing the chest up towards the hands. Breathing here. You're almost there, two breaths left. All right, then unwind back to a chair pose. And then good job, straighten the legs, straighten the arms. You can look up, take a little back bend, and then come back to a neutral spine, hands to your hips, and just a little hop to bring your feet hips width apart. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, forward fold. You can reach down, grab your big toe with your peace fingers, and then you can send your elbows out nice and wide. So elbows are bent, opening up to the side, really using us to pull your chest down. You can have a little bend in your knee if you'd like. 
Release your head and neck. Look where the sun don't shine. One more breath here. And then release your big toe, turn your palms face up and slide your hands under your feet. So all the way under and then see if you can bend a little deeper. Again, you can bend your knees if you'd like to. Release your head and neck again. We're here for three, two, and one. See if you can lift your back, flatten your back halfway up, and then forward fold. Release your toes, inhale, reach the arms all the way up, and exhale, hands in the heart center. Take a breath, and exhale, release. Meeting back in the front of the mat, toes are together. We're going to make our way onto our knees for some back bending. So you can go through a flow with me, or you can just meet us there. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten the back. Exhale, plant the hands through your flow. Inhale, you up dog, your cobra. And exhale, the hips up and back, down dog. And get a breath here. And exhale, release. And then coming down onto your knees and just tuck your right knee down and your left knee. So knees are together, heels are together. Just sit back on your heels. We're going to take some co um, camel breaths here. So core is nice and engaged, spine is nice and long. If this is uncomfortable, you can separate your feet a little bit and put something under your bum to lift you up if you've got a pillow or something like that. Otherwise, we're going to move with our breath here. I'll start on my left side so that you guys can see it. Left hand is going to reach behind you. You're going to sweep the right arm up. As you inhale, you're going to lift your hips up, find a little bit of weight. And then exhale, sink your hips back down, come back to neutral spine. Right hand comes behind you, left hand up, inhaling, and exhaling, coming back down. So I'm just on the tips of my fingers, so kind of cupcake fingers, inhaling up, and exhaling back down. Other side, right hand behind you, inhaling up, and exhaling back down. We'll do one more in each direction. Left hand behind you, inhaling up, and exhaling back down. And then right hand behind you, left hand sweeps, inhaling up, and exhaling back down. Come back to a nice neutral spine, words engaged. We're going to take a couple of camels. So if you know you can eat camel, I'm going to do a back bend or a bridge instead. That's perfect. I'm going to give some people some GERD. Otherwise, I'll walk you through two camels. So you're going to lift your knees up. Your knees can be, I'm sorry, your hips up. Your knees can be hip width apart. You can have your toes down on the mat or you can curl your toes. I prefer my, curl, my toes curled, but that's a personal preference. There's no right or wrong there. And we'll start with our hands back on our lower hips. So palms facing the hips, fingertips facing down. Think about drawing the elbows together. So that's already started to open your chest. With your inhale, lengthen through your spine. Send your hips forward as you reach. Think about tracing the ceiling with your nose up and back. If you'd like to, you can send your hands back to your ankles. Opening up, we're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting your chest, coming up evenly. And then just releasing the toes and sitting back on your hips. So counter pose is just to sit here nicely, taking a couple of breaths. Sometimes people try and take a child's pose, but that's a little bit too much from one way to the other direction all at once. All right, one more breath here. And then we'll repeat. So lifting the hips. If you want to, tuck your toes, you can. And then you can do the same hand placement. That's perfect. You can take it a little deeper by turning the fingertips up towards your shoulder blades. If you do that, that's already going to open your chest, draw your elbows a little closer together. You might have to sink them down a little bit further, though. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And then hinge forward, opening up through the chest, and leaning back. You can stay here, or again, release your hands down to your ankles. You're here for five, four, three, two, and one, coming up evenly with both shoulders, and then releasing the toes, sinking the hips. Three breaths here. All right, last breath. And then we're going to release your hands, and you're just going to swing your feet around 
out to the front of the mat. We'll spin the facing guys. So on our journey home, pulling down, legs out in front of them, nice and flexed. Cushy bits are underneath you, broaden through your pelvic floor. Inhale, we'll lengthen through your spine. And with a flat back, walk your hands forward, find the forward fold. Only going as far as you can go and keeping your back flat, so chest is so nice and lifted. One more breath here. And then walking the hands out, releasing the head and neck down, full forward fold. Three more breaths here. Last breath. And then walking the hands up. You're going to send your hands behind your hips, fingertips facing the heels. Lift the hips up. Tabletop, reverse tabletop. You can stay here or you can bend the knees if that's more comfortable. For three, two, and one. Lowering the hips back down. Legs back, extend out, straight in front of you again. We'll take more reachy, so bending the right leg up and in. You want about two fist distance between your right foot and your left hand. This right hand is going to come on the inside of your right leg. You're going to pulse forward for three, two, and one. And turn your palm away from your body. Reach your around this bent leg and see if you can reach behind you for your body. You can't reach your hands, just grab your shirt. It's perfect. This left foot's going to stay nice and flexed. And then think about squaring everything off. So sometimes people almost want to make this a little bit of a twist, but squaring it off here. Last breath. And then slowly release that. And then you're going to cross this right leg up. Then across the left leg and take a twist. So grabbing the left, I'm sorry, right knee with the left crook of your elbow, lifting up and twisting around behind. Two more breaths here. And then unwinding back through center, uncrossing this right leg. We'll do that on the other side. So right leg's long, left leg bends in. What about two fist distance between your left foot and your right leg? Then the left arm's gonna come on the inside of this left leg. You're gonna pulse forward for three, two, and one, and turn the palm around to the outside so thumbs facing down. Reach around behind you, see so you if you can reach for that bind. If you can't make the bind, just grab your shirt. It's perfect. Right foot stays flexed. And then think about squaring everything off and lifting up. Two more breaths. And then unwinding, releasing that. And then you're going to take this left leg up, cross it over the right. And take the twist. So grabbing the right elbow around the left knee, lifting through the spine, twisting into the back. Two more breaths. And unwinding back through center, uncrossing this left leg, extending it long, and then making your way onto your backs. If you have a block or a pillow or anything that you want to take for your waterfall, you can go ahead and grab it and lift your hips up, put it underneath you. And just elevate your hips. Pillow works. If you don't have anything, you can do fists for wrists and slide them under your rump there. So lifting your feet up. Breathing here. Two more breaths. And then releasing the block, sending it out to the side, returning down onto your back. And we'll come out the way we came in. So right legs. Go ahead, and close, uh, go ahead and draw it toward your right shoulder. The left leg is long. A little bit of groin stretch here. Two more breaths. And then grabbing the right knee with the left hand, taking a twist across your body. Once you're there, you can lift your head, turn it on its own axis, look out towards your right hand. Breathing deeply. Last breath. Bring, unwinding, using your core to bring you back in through center. And then switch legs. So left leg draws in, right leg's nice and long. Go ahead and draw the knee towards this left armpit. Right hand can come down to your right hip to help open up through the groin. Breathing here. Two more breaths. 
and drawing it across your body. Grab the left knee with your right hand. So you find twist on the other side. Once you're there, you can pick your head up, turn it on its own axis, look towards your left hand. Breathing here. Two more breaths. Unwind your head first. Engage your core, come back into your center. And then you can draw both knees in, give them a squeeze. If there's any fun movements you want, you can take those. If you want a happy baby, or maybe you want a fish pose. Anything that feels good, you got about seven breaths left with your wiggles. Taking a happy baby, maybe rock it from side to side. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and make your way into Shavasana. So legs nice and long on the mat, arms out by your side, palms face up. Spine is nice and long. Maybe rock your head from side to side just a little bit to get rid of any tension that you have there. And find some stillness. Take a deep breath in, inhaling all the way up. And then exhale, release everything out. A little bit of body scan here, bring the attention to the crown of your head. See if you have any tension that you're holding there or in your forehead or around your eyes. And go ahead and release. Moving down towards your nose and your mouth. Maybe open and close your mouth a couple times to release any tension in your jaw. And then keeping your lips sealed, release your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Moving down from your shoulders, fold them a little bit so that they're nice and away from your ears. And then rotating the shoulder blades into your body so the front of your body is nice and open. Relaxing the upper arms, the lower arms. Relaxing through the thumb, each of the four fingers. Then moving on to your heart center. Relaxing through the chest and the belly. Release any tension in your groin and your hips. Release your thighs and your hamstrings, the fronts and backs of your knees, your shins and your calves. Moving down to your ankles and finally each of your toes. Do a quick little scan again. If there's anywhere that you've got any residual tension, think about sending breath to that area. And then after that, you can bring your attention back to your heart center. Feeling the beat of your heart, the rhythm there. Feeling your breath as it comes into your body and exits again. And you can take a few moments of peace here and relaxation and I'll let you know when it's time to come out. When you're ready, you can begin to bring some movement back into your fingers and your toes. Maybe make some little circles with your hands and feet. 
and then roll onto either side that feels comfortable. Cradle your head and your arms. Take a couple of breaths there. And then when you're ready, you can make your way up into any comfortable seat. Legs can be crossed out in front of you, it doesn't matter. And then we'll bring our hands into heart center. And the light and the joy and the peace and the happiness in me honors the light and the joy and the peace and the happiness in each of you. Thank you for joining me this morning and for sticking with me through the technology difficulties this morning. Namaste.